Now, for anyone who has ever seen Roscoe Speckman play rugby, you'll know that when he gets the ball, magic is about to happen. That's why we have dubbed him Speck Magic in the world of rugby. He's excelled in sevens. He's now excelling in the 15s format of the game as he continues to chase the Springbok dream. The 31-year-old speedster currently represents South Africa in the Blitzbox side and the Bulls in Super Rugby and Curry Cup competitions. Roscoe, of course, has been inspiring us with his home workouts during lockdown. Now joins us to chat about what he's been up to during this crazy time. Roscoe, good morning, brother. How are you doing? I'm all good, Graham. Just keeping myself busy every day, especially in this time now of lockdown. Just make sure I'm staying fit and when the when they say when the gates open, I will be ready. <laughs> When that gun goes off, you'll be off, man. It looks like, obviously, with our, our coverage of some of your fitness routines, that um, you've kept yourself busy during lockdown. You managed to adjust. Um, how have you been able to transition into the training? Because now you guys have been told to be put on standby. Are you the kind of person who can train on your own? Can you motivate yourself? Do you need the group around you? How have you transitioned? I must say it was it was very easy for me just to, to do it on my own because most of the time as a youngster I knew this was the way I had to grow up also and do everything on my own and my dad disciplined me when I was young doing heel sprints every day after school even in the morning before school so I was already with that mindset when the lockdown comes I won't be scared to, to train alone but sometimes you miss the guys for that motivation just to give you that, that edge just to sit one more rep and things like that yeah man, you eat hill sprints for breakfast man you were joking off air saying you're, you're still clocking kind of 10 20 30 hill sprints a day which is insane to me but of course you guys have had your mental strength tested beyond anything else how have you managed to wrap your head around the fact that you're going to be without sport for a little while longer how are you coping with not being able to actually play the competitive side of what you do? I think this is a time where you you relax and focus more on, like for me as an individual, working on that small things that I was always lacking of. Like I will go through the games and just analyze what am I doing wrong sometimes in situations. So but this time it's more study. I'm studying myself and for the next step, if, if something happened again, then I will be ready for any situation life throw at me. Even now after rugby, you, you put things into place also and to see where you could it and where you can, you can excel as a, as a rugby player and also maybe as a business person. Well, so you might come out of this a better player than you were going into it. And of course, uh, in your illustrious career with the Blitzbox, um, you've enjoyed a camaraderie with some amazing players. And sadly, we had to say goodbye to one of the veterans, an absolute legend in the team, Cecil Africa, um, a legend in the format of sevens, undoubtedly, globally, massive loss to the sport. How did you react to the news? I was also shocked, big, but if you look at 12 years, what the guy had done for sevens rugby, in South Africa. That guy was always the go-to man. If you if you put the TV on it in sevens, it's always Cecil Africa. So that guy changed the whole game, the way he attacks, the, his vision, the way he kicks that last conversion over where everyone thinks, nah, he's going to miss. He just come to the party at, <laughs> in, in times like that. And what a guy that also showed me when I played sevens. He was a guy I always go to when I struggle with something. He said, nah. This is A and B. If you can just work on the basics and look at this signals on the field, you will be ready when it comes, when you have that time again. Who are you missing the most at the moment? Who, who are you staying in contact with, with your teammates? Uh, uh, me and Sivio Swapi, we are very close, so we will often have a group call. The OGs, man. I've got to ask you lastly, of course, we're going to see some rugby returning to World Rugby this weekend. Are you a little bit jealous of the New Zealand teams? I'm really jealous because <laughs> they are going to go out there and do something that they love. And we're just sitting here, so we must watch them now do the things that we also love. But at the end of the day, it's, it's rugby. It just showed if everyone uh, stick to the rules and then... Our government can also set us free and play again. 
maybe an opportunity for you to do some more homework on the New Zealand teams as well. Even Dan Card is making a return, um, which is fantastic. But so good to see you, my friend. Of course, we'd much rather be seeing you out on a field. So good luck with your own personal journey here with training. Uh, and we'll also be counting the seconds until you can get out on that field again. But thank you so much for connecting with us, man. Thank you very much for inviting me in this, on this awesome show. Absolutely love him. Well, of course, we will see some rugby returning to the international fold as the New Zealand teams do go out um, to play amidst some restrictions. But of course, we are really counting those seconds until our South African players and our teams can get back out there. But as Roscoe said, so much of that depends on what we do as individuals, how we adhere to social distancing, to the rules that have been set in place. So let's play our part.